No disrespect to I-10, but the Battle of I-25, NMSU and New Mexico, I think, holds a little bit more weight. Certainly holds more heat. To Albuquerque we go. We talked about it at the top of the show. NMSU and UNM. Chris Jans making his return to the sideline after missing last week's loss. There's Richard Pitino with his famous pops. Rick Pitino in the house taking this one in. Under 10 seconds to play in the second half. NMSU down by a deuce. Johnny McCants, the seasoned veteran, kiss off the window, and we go to an extra period when Jalen House's runner at the buzzer misses. So free hoops at the pit. Remember, UNM beat, won this game last week, stole one, put up 100 points on the Aggies. So NMSU playing angry. They certainly got a big boost from UAT Alok. 19 points off the bench in this one. Put NMSU up four under two minutes to play. Looks like the Aggies are going to win this one comfortably down the stretch, but UNM, Jamal Mashburn with ice water. He finished with 26. So it sets up a final play. Jabari Rice under 10 seconds to play. Game tied at 76. Are we going to have deja vu from the UTEP game? Well, it's going to end up in Rice's hands, but he's going to dish it to Nate Pryor at the horn and New Mexico State by the skin of their whiskers steals the victory on the home floor of their rivals as they get the series split they storm the court at the pit take a look at the celebration after the fact new mexico state stomping on the logo of the lobo there at midcourt eddie nunez unm athletic director and msu head coach chris jans in the mix trying to clear the court an emotional scene at the end of an emotional game after the fact this is the post-game press conference both coaches had to say about that finish it's deja vu you know, we had the ball, the shot clock was turned off. Um, Jabari Rice had the ball in the middle of the floor, and uh, I really thought he was going to pull. You know, we had a little uh, look good there for a while. And all of a sudden, you know, Nate cut, and, and I still don't know how the ball went in. That was kind of a circus shot, to be honest with you. It's a rivalry game. Uh, I, I think both coaching staffs did a good job, and administrators of just somewhat de-escalating it. Um, but that's the beauty of a rivalry, you know. I mean, we got them at their place. They got us at our place. I'm not going to justify what our kids did. I, I was focused on the fact we made the basket, and I kept waiting for them to go to the review. So it, I didn't see it right away. Otherwise, I'd have been out there earlier trying to stop it. Um, but just for some context, um, you know, when we got beat soundly at our place, there was some of that, you know, by their players. And I'm not going to lie to you. I showed my team it. You know, I'm not going to lie to you. It was motivation. And so I did show them and um, certainly didn't tell them to, to do it, and I'm not condoning it, and I'm not happy with them, and we're going to talk about it. Um, but I just want to make sure everybody understands, um, you know, how it got to this point. And for me, that is what I call rivalry basketball. They split the season series on each team's home floor. To